Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, guys. You're very punctual. Que puntual es ahora, ve? Wow. That's amazing. That is great. All right. Eh, have, quiero saber. Yo les dejé tarea, ¿verdad? Phrasal verbs, right? Yes. Pablo. Very good, right? Very good. All right, guys. Eh, at least one example given me some, well, at least one phrasal verb, okay? And the example, I know um, we don't have any, we don't have much time today since remember we need to cover the section one and section two to, uh, by this week. So um, I will, I will ask you for the phrasal verb probably next week, but right now you can give me your example, okay? Are you ready? Pablo es el primero que se quiere apuntar. Okay, Pablo, what is your new, así como que, wow, right? You didn't know that uh, phrasal verb. So what is your phrasal verb? You're muted. You can hear me? And give us the example. Remember, guys, there is no point in learning the phrasal verb if you don't use it in the context, all right? Remember that sometimes one phrasal verb may have different meanings depending on the context you're talking about, right? Yes, yeah. Pablo, tell me one of the phrasal verbs, just one because of the time. Next week, I will ask you for more phrasal verb, okay? Blow up, explotar. Blow up, all right. Only blow is like, like? To exhale yeah. air, so to blow out is to explode, to explode. And what is your example? The TNT blow, blew up the mind. Hey, very good. You know what? It, the most important thing is that you're using the, the past as well, right? Not only blow up. Remember, yeah. guys, that if it's in present, hay que agregarle la S también a los verbos. Remember, if it's simple present, the S, right? So blows up, cuando algo explota, it blows up. Uh, when you, if you put gasoline and and you mix the fire, it may or it explodes or it blows up. Thank you, Pablo. Vamos a ver. Uh, Brenny, what is your example? Oh. Um, my example is breaking that, but that's meaning like a fire for things. If the pen of the context, uh, you can. It depends press. on the context. That is break, break out or breaking. What did you say? Sorry. Break down. Oh, break down. Like the one that we, ese lo vimos ayer. The car broke down, but what is the meaning? Uh, In este caso, give us the example and we can identify the meaning. Uh, well, it's like uh, when you broke your car, when you broke uh, something, is a disaster. When know. you break something, all right. When you break, when you want to untie something, I can say. Okay. All right. So there is another way. All right. That is another meaning that it's uh, like. It's like when, when you dance to the, the president. Uh, Barack Obama is a breaking, breaking dance or something like that. Oh, dance. So it's break dance. Break, breaking down, dance. Breaking down. All right. Well, I remember this, this, this one in yes, uh, yesterday. You can write it in the chat okay. in case, guys, we cannot hear you very well. Okay, I will choose another one. To, um... Tell me, tell me. Guys, but break down también es como hacer... Cosas por una por una, ¿verdad? You're breaking down. Estar haciendo como separadas las cosas también. Ese es otro ejemplo. All right, Brenty, dime, tell me the other one. Ask around. It's ask like, a, it's like a, when you have to ask like a, somebody, uh, you want to you wanna have more information of something. 
Okay. You, for example, I have two examples. Uh, when, for example, if you want to go to the university and you want to, you have to ask for uh, which uni university is the best. All right. Uh, Okay. So what is what is your example? What the university should I go to is a question. The answer is is the when I use the the phrase of it. You should finally ask around before making your final decision. All right. All right, thank you, Brandy. Thank you so much for uh, bringing up all these, these new uh, phrase adverbs, all right? Let me ask uh, Morena, can you tell me your example? Very quick, guys, let's try to do it fast, okay? Excellent, I have one, uh, take up to be a new hobby. Uh, the example is not very good at basketball, and I only took it up recently. Okay, thank you, nice example. Thank you, Morena. Uh, Jaime, You're hello, welcome. do you have one example? I ask you for uh, 10, but I just need one example just to start the class, okay? It's okay, uh, don't give up. Up, give up. Give up, up. Mm -hmm. don't get, get up. Give up. Give up or get up? Give up. Uh, never, uh, never give up. Esa es una que, that you never surrender, right? Never quit, all right? Yeah? Is that the meaning? The, <clears throat> I usually come back late. Okay. Thank you, Jaime. So you gave us two. Come back is to return. All right. Thank you. Gladys, hello. What is your example and your phrase adverb? Thank you, Jaime. Good evening. Um, Good evening. I didn't know about the... Um, Get together, get together. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get together. Uh, okay, that is two. Yeah, uh, live in a group. Uh, for example, we can get say- Get together, uh, to stay in a group, to join a group. Join a group. And uh -huh. Something together. Okay, but the example is um, the football team is getting together for a dinner after the practice. It's to reu reunite, right? To meet, all right? Thank you, Gladys. You see, we have many of them, guys. I know that you probably saw many, and I'm going to share a link with you uh, because I was checking for some, well, for some explanations about the, um, the phrasal verbs, and it could be uh, after an adverb, after an adjective and after a preposition. So the, um, but for example, the one that somebody told me, be careful, eso no lo encontré como un phrasal verb. Y tampoco el otro que me dijeron, get married, okay? Ese no estaba ahí en, en phrasal verb. Yo de verdad que los estuve buscando and I couldn't find it. So eh, I will share a link. Yo les voy a mandar un link. The, the, the British Council es una página del Consejo Británico all right, where you can see every single um, uh, preposition, adverbs, or well, not adverbs, but prepositions, okay? If I, pueden ver todos los, los phrasal verbs ahí también. All right, so I will share that link in a moment. Uh, I will share it here in the, in the chat, okay? Solo para los que están en la clase. Los demás, pues, tienen que ver la clase. All right. Hello, Carla Selena. Do you have an example? Hello, teacher. Yes. Ah, good evening. Um, let someone, let someone in. And the meaning is to permit to enter. Let in. Let somebody in. Let someone in. Oh, lend. De prestar. Uh -huh. L -E -L -E no, let. No, let, oh, let the, in. The, mm -hmm. Permitir, to let, permit, to allow. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Thank you. The Your example is? Her mom let someone in the toy store. All right. Pero el in no lo, no lo vi ahí. Her mom let someone in oh, yeah, the yeah, toy yeah. store. 
let someone in the toy store. And yeah. actually, guys, in this uh, in this website that I mentioned already, you will see some of the um, phrasal yeah. verbs that are not separated. All right, that cannot be separated. So you will have more details about it as well. Uh, Cristina del Carmen, hello. Can you give me your example? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Uh, look after look means after. cuidar, proteger. And Take the example care. is, mm -hmm. my parents are looking after my child for the weekend. But remember, guys, that is that is probably a new one for you. But that was that was some some of the that is one of the the phrase adverb we saw yesterday. But it's okay. All right. Do you have another one? Yes, pass out ah. means desmayarse. Ah, ah, very good, very good. I really, I, how do you pronounce literalmente? Literally, literally. I literally, I literally pass out when I see blood. Ah, okay, okay. Sí. Siempre que veo la sangre. Ah, okay. Ajá, Thank ajá. you. Very nice example. Mire, eso sí es muy nuevito okay. también. No, no lo usamos ayer. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. okay. Evelyn, hello. Evelyn Janet. Okay. Evelyn Janet. Hello, teacher. Hello. <laughs> My freezer bears is um, Carlos Dimas. You're not in the class, and you are uh, you're 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 having background. Le escucho background a Carlos y no está en la clase. Okay, sorry, Evelyn, to interrupt. Continue. <laughs> okay, is is room across? Wrong, 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 wrong across. Wrong across. Okay, uh, nice. Uh, for example, I I run across with my friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the meaning of run across? Uh, encontrarse con algo. All right. To encounter with someone or with somebody or with something. All right. Uh, okay. Or to find something. Thank you. Try to keep it in English, guys, so you can have a better idea on how to express the meaning, but in English, all right? Remember, when we're thinking, we need to think in English, not a, not like doing translation. I know sometimes it's a little difficult to express ourselves, but you can try to find a way to express it, all right? Even for me, sometimes I cannot find the other word, the synonym, but let's try to do it like this so our mind can have like more a more vocabulary as well thank you evelyn maria del carmen hello hello hi good evening good evening my and friend my, um, is i i have four but i will going to share i ask you for say, 10 but i just need one <laughs> Um, stay back. Stay back. All right. What does that mean? Stay, stay up is oh, to stay keep up. money. Yeah, to keep money so that you can buy something with it in okay. the future. Stay. The example, oh, is, you say save. Save. Yes, save. I can save. 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 Save, save, save up. out. Save out. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay, or pensé que decía stay up también, all right? So save up <laughs> is yeah, to keep money save for up. the future. Okay? Example. Yeah. And the example is I'm saving up for a car. Oh, really? Is that true? Yes. All right, you will <laughs> make it. Thank all right, very good. It's a good it's a good habit to save money, guys. Remember, sometimes yes. your car breaks down or something happens, somebody is sick, or somebody fire, or se lo despiden, and you don't have money, and it is important to save money. So it's yeah. a very, very good habit. Hello, Diego, tell me your example, please. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I have this example, uh, eat up. Eat up, okay, what is that? Eat up, and uh, the meaning is uh, finish uh, food. When you are uh, 
I don't know, for example, uh, taking your lunch, for example, and you finish your your food. And an example is I eat up my classmates' lunch in la in less than three minutes, for example. All right. Es como cuando usted no deja nada, ¿verdad? Hasta limpia uh -huh. el plato, yes. right? That is the example. Thank you, Diego. Very nice example. Miren, guys, hasta para mí hay otras cosas que no me recordaba y son nuevos para mí. De verdad que los phrasal verbs... Uh, son un montonazo, ¿verdad? So we're always learning something new. Uh, now, Karen, do you have an example? No, I not, teacher. I not? Yes, I not. No, I have uh, example. I have, entonces sí lo tiene. No. All right, so how do you say yo no tengo eso, guys? I have not. Eso es presente perfecto. I have not studied. No he estudiado. I have not done it. No lo he hecho. All right. Ahí se dice, I don't have any. No tengo nada. Ok, le tocan 20 para mañana. Ok, Rocío. Ok. okay. Usted nos va a dar la clase de los phrasal verbs mañana. Ana María, okay. tell me your example. Por favor, guys, tomémoslo en serio porque es por nuestro aprendizaje. All right. Es que no, hey. es que no, no, quise, no quise hacerlo, Ticho. Lo que pasa es uh. que un día estré full en el trabajo. Ok, yo entiendo. I, pero I don't understand un... this topic. I don't understand this topic. You don't understand the topic. Yes. Simplemente estamos viendo verbos. Pero, were you in the class yesterday? Yes. Okay. Every day. Excellent. So we're just talking about a phrase, phrasal verbs. Ya les voy a mandar el link para que lean un poquito porque está incluso en español. Okay, sería bueno porque este tema, este tema no está, no está dejando aludidos. Bueno, a mí. Vaya, chicos. Alguien más no entiende qué es un phrasal verb aparte de Álvaro. Please raise your hand. Ah, por favor, levántenle la mano. En mi caso. Eh, no. okay. Carlos Dimas, were you in the class yesterday? Estuve en la clase yesterday, Carlos. Yes, teacher. All right, pero siempre les pregunto, no, chicos, no se queden con la duda, porque yo les dejé tarea y la idea era porque supuestamente habíamos hablado sobre los phrasal verbs. Ahora les voy a dar una pequeña explicación nuevamente. Y simplemente estamos hablando de un verbo que cambia completamente, se lo voy a decir en español para que quede claro. Un verbo, ¿sí? Cualquier verbo que se le agrega una partícula. Puede ser un adjetivo, puede ser un adverbio, puede ser una, pa, una preposition, ¿all right? Para eso ya les voy a mandar, ya les voy a enseñar lo de las prepositions porque hay un montón de prepositions. Y, el cam, y si se fijan lo que, por ejemplo, el primer ejemplo que nos dio Pablo, blow, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, blow es solamente soplar. Pero si digo blow up, el, cam, el mm. significado es otra cosa, ¿ok? A eso nos referimos con los phrasal verbs. Y para eso les voy a mandar el link este día. Don't worry. Para, por ejemplo, el que me acaba de dar Diego, it. Todo el mundo sabe que es it. Pero si dice it up, ahí dice que me lo acobé todo. No es que yo coma todos los días, ¿verdad? Sino que no dejé nada. Tenía mucha hambre, ¿ok? Eso es lo que... A eso es que se refieren los phrasal verbs. Otra pregunta. ¿Han visto... ¿Han visto los videos en la plataforma? Have you watched the videos? Álvaro? Honestly? Yes. Ok. Vaya, entonces, si no te queda algo claro, ahora vamos a tratar de clarificar y por favor pregunten, ok? Porque yo siempre les digo si tienen alguna duda, ok? Y no nos quedemos con ella porque al final, ¿verdad? Nos afecta, ok, Álvaro? No se quede con la duda, no tengan pena de pre en preguntar, guys. ¿Me ayudan con las cámaras los demás? Porque no sé si están ¿Puedo decir algo? Yes, ma'am. I will say in Spanish because um, I can in English, but uh, los frases ver son palabras que de ley tienen que ser aprendidas. Son muy difíciles, inclusive para los nativos hablantes. Muchas veces no entienden los phrasal verbs. Entonces, si para ellos... Phrasal, ellos, phrasal verbs. Yeah. Los phrasal verbs. Exactly. Para ellos eso no está en cabeza. Para nosotros va a ser mucho más porque nosotros no somos native speakers. Pero Entonces, por lo menos que sepamos el verbo, ¿verdad? 
Sí, por lo menos que sepamos de que existe y hay que tener atención en, en, en The cómo use. se dice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y el uso especialmente, Brandy, porque como, como usted dijo, ahora usted nos dio el breakdown. Imagínese, yeah. breakdown es como arruinarse algo. El otro que usted dijo que era como... Sí. El, el otro que yo digo, breakdown, es cuando uno pone... Ok, hacémelo así, ¿verdad? Bien, bien como detallado, breaking down. O sea, lo hace bien separado desmenuzar algo desmenuzar, ajá. Vaya, cuando imagínese. se está bailando y se está que como haciendo la quebradita ah, pues, ¿no? se está que, ajá, ya, ya lo entendí por eso me estaba hablando de Obama cuando salió bailando verdad ajá Vaya, si se fijan sí todo todo depende del contexto y lo mejor es aprendernos eh, una oración ok no solo ver ah eso significa tal cosa porque todo depende del contexto ok y también guys eh, yo les puedo recomendar la, la, creo que ya se los había dicho. I recommend you this uh, application que se llama Word Reference. Hay un montón, pero Word Reference incluso la pueden bajar. Pueden ver los verbos, cómo se conjugan, ¿ok? En pasado, en presente, en futuro. Eh, mm -hmm. Y pueden ver también los ejemplos, ¿ok? Ya les voy a mostrar el Word Reference. No me gusta ocupar mucho durante la clase sitios web porque, pues, todos tienen como copyrights, ¿verdad? Derechos de autor y de repente no me, no me aceptan los, los... No me acepta subirlos a YouTube porque parece que yo estoy haciendo un plagio o algo así. Entonces, pero ahora se los voy a explicar Usted rapidito. Manda el link, se los mando el link, exacto. El link ya se los voy a mandar. Nosotros lo buscamos. Espérese, espérese, espérese. Wait, all right. Sí, I will do it, don't worry. ¿Qué, ¿Con quién más me quedé pendiente? A Ana María, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Tell me your example, please. Okay, good evening. Um, I I search um, and here I I encontré. <laughs> I, I know found. I search and I found. Okay. Uh, make over. Make over. The uh, the meaning is do again. For okay. example, the teacher made him do his homework over. Hey, nice. Miren, todos estamos aprendiendo. To repeat it. Basically, to do it again, right? Excellent. Thank you, Ana María. Eh, y el makeup, por ejemplo, no solo estamos hablando del maquillaje, ¿verdad? ¿Qué significa no. makeup? Mire, Brenny ya lo sabe. Yo sé que sí, algunos ya lo saben. ¿Qué break? Makeup. It's when you do in your jobs. Uh, really, I have the idea, but. When you invent something. When you, when you invent something exactly. in your job. Makeup, makeup, right? Yeah, yeah. You're you're in, inventing or you're creating something new. Thank you. All right. Let's see, Roberto. What is your example? Hello, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Good evening. Uh, out. I have no key, so I was locked out. Locked out. All right. Locked out. All right. No, uh, locked out. So what is the meaning in English? Quedarse o encontrar. Look out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look oh, out. it's look or lock? Look. Ajá, look. perdón, yo escuché lock. Okay, como look. lock, de, de, de estar encerrado, lock out, ¿verdad? O the, the sí. lockdown, que es, por ejemplo, el encierro o, o el, lo, ¿cómo se llamó la o pandemia que encerrado. teníamos? Quedarse encerrado. The exactly. pandemic situation. Ah. In the pandemic situation, exactly. All right, yeah. but Roberto, how do you spell it just to clarify the spelling? I'm sorry. Look, it's L-O-O-K. Look. Yeah. Look, O. Yes. Look out, 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 okay? Out. out. Thank you. All out. right. Thank you very much, Roberto. And You're welcome. <laughs> My pleasure, okay. Evelyn, Susana, hello. What is your example? Uh, I was in class yesterday, teacher. You were not in class yesterday. But, guys, yo les pido que vean los videos porque ahí también, ahí, pues... Nos ponemos al día también. All right. Vaya, Susana. Entonces, Evelyn, para mañana son 20, ¿ok? 20 phrasal verbs. Y mañana nos, nos, nos los explica. Hello, Rafael. Are you there? Yes, teacher. 
Los demás que no tienen la cámara encendida, quiero que me digan qué es lo que pasa. Álvaro Ernesto, you raise your hand. Yes, I have five face I burn. Cuando me toque. Oh, tell me, tell me. I was asking for Rafael, but I don't he, but I don't I don't see him, so he's not responding. So tell me your example, please. This moment, yes? Yeah, please, please. Okay. Only five pressure bear is over. Only down. one, only one at this time. Only one, only one. Okay. Mm. For example, pay along. And what is the meaning? Yes. Seguir la corriente. Pay. Seguir la corriente. Seguir la corriente a mis amigos. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. Pay. Eh, How do you spell stay, it? Eh, away también. Stay away. Mantente stay alejado. away. Keep, stay yeah, away. keep away. Stay away from me. All right. Thank you. Get away from me, guys. Very nice example. Okay. Eh, yo creo que ese ya se lo dije ayer también. But it's okay, Álvaro. Thank you. I see how the idea. That's great. <laughs> yeah. You are on the see. way. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, that's great, ya, pero ya ve que sí encontró algunos, ¿verdad? Eh, Gladys me dijo que no lo tenía, ¿verdad? Es que se me movieron, guys, se me movieron de, de no. orden. Ok. I, I gave an example. Get Let, together. Ah, oh, get together. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Entonces voy con, y Carla Selena ya me dijo, perdón, guys, es que se me movieron. Ahí sí. Yes, teacher. Yes, you gave it to me, right? Eh, yeah. Con Alejandra, entonces. Alejandra, tell me your example, please. Hi, teacher. Uh, nice to meet you. It's my first class uh, today. And my friend is on a verb, uh, run away. I don't okay. know si lo vieron ayer. No, 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 no. we didn't. We didn't study that one. Uh, it's run away and my... And, the and what is the meaning in example? English? Uh, huir, to no escape, escapar. to flee, all right, thank you. What uh, is the example? Um, why did you run away uh, from me? Why? Why did you run away from me? Porque te me fuiste, all right, very good, thank <laughs> you, very, very nice example. Okay, Diana, hello, Diana. I know Diana is la, oh, la hora de lunch. She's, the, he, she's in the lunch time, but she's always paying attention. She, that, that is great. All right. What is your example? Tell us one that is really, really like very, very strange or weird. Well, get along. Uh, for example, I like to get along with others, or I like okay. to get along with my friends. We studied that one yesterday, Diana. You were not in the class the whole the whole the whole hour, so but we have already that one. Remember, guys, I need very, very like weird that we probably didn't see yesterday. Rafael, what is your example? Yo creo que Rafael se le ve el internet because he he's like frozen at this time. Si me apagan la cámara, no, 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 no distingo. Ana Lilia, yes. Tell me your example, please. Okay, I have three examples. Examples. Um, examples. Um, stand up when speaking in class, please. Okay. Um, take off your shoes, please. All right. Nice, and nice. Those are very common. Esos ya lo, esos son bastante comunes, ¿verdad? Take out your shoes, take out your blouse, take out your clothes. Eh, um, thank you, but that is okay. Traten de encontrar otros que también, bueno, yo sé que también para ustedes son nuevos, pero eh, eran 10, eran 10, Ana Lilian. Anyways, sí. thank you, but the examples are really good, ¿ok? okay. Eh, Rafael, now, can you hear me? Get, get in, get, get in. on, 
Getting, get on. Vaya, solo uno, Bien. chicos, por favor, acordémonos. No, solo uno. It's not necessary. Ahorita no les pido los diez. All right, just one. Okay. Let's they are in, they are get on the, the bus. Get on the bus. Okay, thank you. Get on the bus. It's to, all right, it's to be on the bus. All right, what else? Vamos a ver, ¿qué más me falta, guys? Sorry, se me movieron todos y yo no veo las, 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 no veo sus rostros, así que me cuesta bastante. To identify. Jaimito. Jaimito, no, Jaimito already gave us one. Somebody Any... say Oreo. Oreo, eh, I... I like that one. Ese me gustó el que nos puso eh, the one that, uh, let's see, Mario Orellana gave us. He said, oh. um, doze off. That is to fall asleep, right? Very good. I like that one. All right. And the and very good example. I know he's no normally driving or he's working. That is why he's not like participating verbally, but he is sending messages. Okay. Marcelo said he was going to move. Eh, Carlos nunca me habló, no sé quién es Carlos, I don't remember. All right, Carlos. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. But the fractional verbs, the use in the Mario is dos enough. But I don't understand por qué lleva dos ed, por qué lleva la D al final. Y al principio no. O no porque sé está si el pasado, porque se, se levantó, se levantó en la mañana. Ajá. Entonces el pasado. Es un, es un verbo que está en pasado y es un verbo regular. Por eso tiene la D al final. Ok, good question, Carlos. Do you have an example? Yeah, thank Teacher. you, thank you, Mario. Es que yo también encontré unos videos así, pero la verdad no entendía por qué es que terminaba en ED. <risa> Con ustedes no hablamos lo, sobre los ED ayer, ¿verdad? Tenemos pendientes esos temas porque a veces decimos dos ED, pero no se pronuncian así, ¿ok? Yo les voy a explicar cuándo se pronuncian cada uno de diferentes formas. Don't worry. ¿Hay alguien más que nos quiera dar un último ejemplo, guys? Because of the time. We have already 30 minutes running on. I have you one. Uh, it's... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, eh, permítame algo ha... después. Okay. Después, ¿quién, qué, eh, me levantó la mano a Marcelo, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I? Yes, yes, go ahead. Sorry, okay, I didn't uh, see you raise the hand. By four, I don't know, I don't remember if this, this example I saw yesterday. Okay, if I saw this example yesterday, uh, well, um, this, uh, clear, uh, clear up, out, sorry, clear out. Clear out, all right. Uh, what is the meaning? No, we didn't see uh, that one yesterday. Okay. Um, come along. Okay, give me your example and the meaning. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, buy four, you should buy for the soccer ball for your son. Uh, only one or can I another? Oh, uh, it's okay. It's okay, Marcelo. Can you write it down? Because I couldn't hear you very well. Diego, the last one, uh, I will give you the chance to say it, all right? Since I don't have more participants or more, um, yeah, I don't have more participants left, I guess. So tell me yours. Tell me okay, one. Uh, I found this uh, phrasal verb that sounds a little bit weird to me. It's what? add up, add, add up. like, uh, add, uh, add up, sorry. Uh -huh. And it's like, be logical. For example, okay. uh, your exposition uh, doesn't add up, oh. for example. A-D-D? A-D-D. Ah up yes okay thank you that was not that is not very common all right that mm -hmm. was very good one thank you thank you Diego hey guys very good job thank you very much for doing your homework and that is very very important and I appreciate your time guys yo sé que todos tenemos cosas que hacer pero gracias por tomarse el tiempo acuérdense que es 
prácticamente para nuestro, para nuestro bien, ¿verdad? No es que yo les quiera quitar más tiempo de lo que ustedes tienen, ¿verdad? Sino que es para que ustedes aprendan también. All right. Y ahorita les voy a enseñar lo que les estaba diciendo. Denme un momentito, guys. Mm -mm. Intermediate two. Ok. So, ayer estuvimos hablando de que los phrasal verbs básicamente, ¿verdad? Tenemos así. Es un verbo con diferentes preposiciones, adjetivos o adverbios. Ok. Y para eso... Tuvimos algunos ejemplos de los phrasal verbs que normalmente sí se pueden separar y especialmente, ¿verdad? Los que no se pueden separar eh, si, es, si llevan un objeto que no sea un pronombre personal, ¿verdad? All right. Eh, y de ahí yo les recomiendo también que vean el video porque ahorita tendríamos que ver los models. Y quiero ver qué otra cosa, guys. ¿Qué se me hicieron los phrasal verbs? Yo creo que puse... Mm -mm, mm -mm, ya. Yeah. Vamos a ver. Sí. Creo que eso lo puse en otro lado. Ok, aquí estamos. Este es el link que les quería compartir. Ok. I'll send it to you right now. Igual ahí los, nos mandó otro, ¿verdad, Mario? Que ustedes pueden verlo, ¿ok? El que a mí me gustó fue este porque sí está bastante completo. Incluso está en español para que algunas cosas no las entendamos. Ustedes las pueden decir. Las pueden entender mucho mejor. Um, no, entonces... Sorry, guys. You eh, didn't have the link. It's just like a picture. What do you mean? Uh, you sent a picture. It's not a link. I sent the picture, not the link. That's right. Okay, sorry. Don't Where worry. is it? Where is it? Where is it? Y acabo de cerrar la otra. Let me stop share just for a moment. Intermediate three. Open up, open up. Up. Are you sure you didn't get the link? Espérame, no entiendo por qué, porque yo lo había copiado. I had copied here. I can see the link in the chat, but... Below that link is an um, image, but yeah, we have the. No, link. pero ahí está, ahí está, ahí está el, el British Council, ya se los había dicho. Mm -hmm. Ok, y ahí pueden ver todos. Yes, I todos, can open. Todos. I can open. The link is very good. I can open the link. Pero mire, guys, ¿cómo es que ustedes no lo pueden abrir y yo sí? No, yes, I can. Yes. Ah, oh, I could yes, open. You you, sí lo pude abrir. Yes. Como les yes. digo, simplemente por. El problema que les digo, ¿verdad? De los, de los copyrights, no les enseño pues todo, pero ahí ustedes pueden, pueden darse gusto viendo todo lo que son los phrasal verbs. Y aquí están los phrasal verbs que se ponen, por ejemplo, con preposiciones. Aquí tenemos todo tipo de prepositions. Mire, along, around, against, at, etc., etc., etc. ¿Ok? Take a look on that link and watch the video as well, ¿ok? Eh, okay. Vean también los videitos para que mmm, no tengan dudas. La verdad que no tienen la gran ciencia, guys. Simplemente es, como usted como dice Brandy, es aprendernos eso, ¿verdad? Y lo mejor es ponerlo en contexto porque si uno solo dice, ah, me voy a aprender tantos, pero no lo pongo en contexto, no me, mm -hmm. no me funciona, ¿ok? Esa es la idea, que lo pongamos en contexto y así nos recordamos mucho más. Okay, let's continue, guys, because of the time. Hoy sí, ¿en qué estábamos? Double, uh, intermediate two. Eh, vaya, eso es lo que vimos ayer, lo de phrasal verbs. Y ahora nos toca, guys, hablar de los models, all right? Eh, con los, y vamos a ver también los gerundios, all right? El gerund. ¿Qué es un gerund, guys? It is actually a verb. That is 
uh, composed by the by the base form of the verb plus an ing. That's it. All right. Cuando lo ocupamos con la expresión que, por ejemplo, tenemos aquí, would you mind? Yes. Siempre cuando pongan mind, que no es mente, es importar, o, ¿verdad? O, 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 o sí, es que a mí me, me interese algo. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, I don't mind, es como que me, no, no me molesta. Pero si yo, I don't care, es como no me importa. No, le, no es lo mismo decir I don't mind que I don't care. Ok, entonces si yo le pregunto, do you mind, como que te importaría tal cosa, o would you mind, no, te importa, do you mind, pero están de un polite request, ocupando would, que es te importaría, acuérdese que el would es para hacer algo como más subjuntivo, ¿verdad? Um, so let's see guys, we are doing this, aquí, ¿en qué parte nos quedamos chicos? Terminamos esto y ya. Uh, and the exercise number number one, we tried to start it yesterday. Lesson two, no, uh, I asked you to to check the one point for the number maybe, check. We already did this with no, we didn't this we didn't Did do we, this one, didn't. right? No, we didn't. Yeah. All right, yeah. so pick up the toys. O pick the toys up. Se puede decir de las dos formas. Ok, veamos, guys, what is the number two? Ay, sí, los tengo ya. Ok. ¿Qué, qué se yeah, puede apagar? Pueden lights. ser varias formas. The lights, muy you bien. Say the lights TV. because the TV is off. The TV as uh -huh. well. Ajá, the radio. Aquí pueden ser cualquiera de esos tres. Thank you, Brandy. All right, what about number three, guys? Yes. Clean up what? The jar. The jar. Right. Clean up jar. the jar. Clean up the jar. All right, good. What about number the four? Box. Put something the away. Your jacket. The trash. Your the trash. Jacket. Okay, sacala. Yeah. Your jacket. Take out. Put away the jacket. Mm, yeah, it could be. Pero yeah. ahorita, yeah. ahorita veamos como los más, los más comunes. Ya, le, ya, voy, ya les voy a decir qué otra cosa puede ser. Pero si, si a ustedes, si yo lo hicieron, if you have finished, done this, um, if you have done this already, you know that there are some possibilities. There is not only one answer. You don't have to be so straight, so 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 square with the answers. Thank you. Put away. Please, please turn down what? The, the, radio. Radio. the radio. Or the radio, the, radio, the TV. 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 All right. All right. Uh, also, take off your boots. The dog. Boots. boots. Puede ser the boots, the jackets. Okay. The Cualquiera de los jacket. dos también. Hang up. The jacket. Ah, oh, puede ser también eso. The jacket. Yeah. All right. The jacket. Your jacket. Um. The please number eight. Take out. <laughs> Puede ser the trash, pero ya lo ocupamos en la, en la parte anterior. Así que aquí podemos the poner the dog, ¿verdad? All right. O sea que en la anterior puede ser cuando vean take out, puede ser the dog or the, the trash. Pero ahorita traten de, de poner esta respuesta para que no se les complique eh, por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Que a veces no tenemos y queremos terminar rápido estos ejercicios. Let. The let dog out. out. Let. Let the dog out. Take the dog out. Dog out. Take the dog out. All right. And the number 10. Turn on the turn TV. On the TV. The TV. The TV. Turn on the TV or turn the TV on. Okay. Espérame, guys. Que es que a veces, si no lo ponemos parcialmente. Vamos a ver cuál nos salió mal. Entonces, aquí es. Boots. Boots. boots, the boots. The boots, no. thank you. Ahí está. Y aquí sería. Uh, your jacket. Just the jacket. Your jacket. Yo creo que sería your jacket en lugar de the jacket. Let me just confirm. Uh, it's your boots. Aquí sería entonces the boots y arriba el de your jackets. Okay. Your your your, your, boots. Boots. your jacket. 
your jacket, your jacket. okay? Your jacket. Thank you guys, thank you. Your jacket. Ajá, let's see. Todavía no. Entonces sería your boots. Yes, your boots. Your jacket, no. Your yes. jacket is the seven. The number seven is your jacket. Uh-huh. Number seven is your jacket. Uh -huh. ah, jacket. Pero guys. But is that, yes. it's not your, for boots. me it's your okay. boots. It's done. Your boots. Mm -hmm. Okay, es que habíamos puesto the boots y era your boots, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver your ahora. Hoy oh, sí, vaya. Vaya, chicos, si quieren, denle una captura de pantalla para que no les cueste terminar yeah. el ejercicio. Ajá. No, I'm finished. I, I, I type all the sentences and what's wrong and what's wrong and I knew what's okay. It depends. Sometimes we put it like a space. And that is why, or we we don't write. You see, in this case, it should have be your boots instead of the boots, right? That is why. Si usted ya lo tiene, Brandy, que muy bien, okay, super bien, porque usted ya estuvo practicando. Si los demás necesitan, por eso les pido que le tomen una captura. Vamos de las seis a las diez, from six to ten, in case you you are not sure, okay? Let's continue. Go ahead. Can Yes, any question, guys? Vaya, ese video ya les dije que lo vieran ustedes, ¿verdad? Ahí no vamos a estar. Um, we are not going to entertain talking about the video, all right? We will just continue with the models, all right? When can we use the models? We can use can, which is a little formal, but it's more formal, could, and even more, more formal, would. All right, or would mine, okay? So we are going to talk about this right now. I know you you have watched the video. Yo sé que ya les pedí que vieran los videos, por lo menos en eso sí, ustedes van adelantados. And I will just talk about the, um, the models, all right? So for example, no sé por qué siempre se me desconfigura la, la, la todo, guys. So, eh, eh, eh. Y pues todo se me, se me pone loco. And if you active the presentation mode, for example. I'm sorry? Uh, you can active the presentation mode. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Espérame. Yes, you should uh, give a click as a presentation. I don't know where. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's, um, I don't see it. Abajo. It's down. It's down near to the um, class in English. I remember there was a way to do it. Es como una copita. I know, I, but I don't see it. I don't see it. En la, en la parte de abajo, a la derecha, justo por donde está con una Donde dice notas, columna. comentarios, y ahí está. sigue que es la última, donde dice menos. Ah, más, ahí está. Esta, ah, es, okay. Es. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ok. Eh, pero igual bien raro como se me pone. Yeah, <laughs> en serio, cool. I don't know what, hap what happened. Anyways, we tried guys, it. We tried it. Tried we already it. tried. We already tried. Okay, guys. What is the most important thing about about models? Simplemente saber cuál es la estructura de un model. All right. Basically, that that's it. Okay. ¿Cómo se zoom? habla de un model? Hola, Pablo. Hello. The zoom. The zoom. We use the zoom. The zoom. Yeah, on the bottom. Next to the when you put the presentation. Less and yeah. last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pero y si se fijan no hacen ah okay, oh, sí. Sorry guys, de verdad que. Well, yo... <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for your help. De verdad que miren siempre siempre hay algo nuevo que aprendemos. Okay. Thank you guys. Um. So guys. 
we use models to make something or to request something more in a very, very polite way, all right? Um, so normally we use models, for example, to that. In this case, we can use either can, okay? Should, uh, can, could, y would, all right? Yep. Si fuera una forma afirmativa, siempre ocupamos un subject y de, después va un modal. El verbo de qué forma se pone después de un modal, guys. Si estamos hablando de can, could, and would, ocupamos un, un base form, la forma base del verbo, right? Yeah. yeah and then the complement, all right? Um, who, uh, can you please uh, turn it down? Can you please um, bring up this for me? Can you please um, pass out these exams? Exactly. Eh, pero si como es pregunta, diríamos can you, ¿verdad? Si es pregunta, el, simplemente le damos vuelta a la estructura. All right. Si es una afirmación, yes, I can. Or, no, I cannot. Yes, I could or no, I could not. Pero si es un modal y estamos haciéndolo en preguntas, siempre recuerden que el modal va primero y después el subject, ¿ok? Would you, would she, would, uh, would, he, uh, would they, el verbo siempre va a ir en forma base. Yo sé que este ya es algo que ustedes ya lo han visto. Lo único yeah. que, lo único nuevo es con el would mind, ¿ok? Eh, es también una forma de decir como, hey, ¿te importaría? ¿Verdad? O po, en lugar de decir, do you mind, que es el también bastante común, decimos, would you mind. Pero con la expresión de mind, siempre vamos a ocupar un, ¿qué? Would you mind? A gerund. A gerund, con ing. Esa es la única diferencia, que con esta expresión ocupamos un ing. Thank you, Diego. All right. Esa es la gran ciencia de los models, guys. All right. Would you mind uh, playing the guitar? Playing the guitar for me? Would you like, yes. uh, would you mind, y, to, y así, sí, justamente, would you mind uh, uh, look after my daughter? ¿Te importaría cuidar a mi hija? Would you mind look up? Looking up, ahí le ponemos el ING, ¿verdad? Oh, do you mind looking up? Siempre con mind, we always use the Jerry. That's it. Okay. Um, so remember, can, is, it's okay to use it, but we have the other that is could, that is very, very polite. And would is even more polite, okay? So, now, since you have already watched this video, I'm sorry, ¿qué me decía Susana, Evelyn? O Evelyn, Susana? Nada. She was talking with somebody else. Oh, okay. Por eso les digo, pongan mute, guys, porque pensé que conmigo estaba hablando. Okay, now let's check. So, let's see. Uh, match the request with the appropriate responses. Okay. Help me with number one. Vamos a ver. Alguien que me quiera ayudar, please. Could you lend me twenty dollars? What would be your answer? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you I don't kidding? have any cash. I don't have any cash. cash. All right. Number number two. Hey, can you get me a sandwich? I am really sorry, but I am busy. I'm busy. All right. Easy. Thank you, Ana Maria. Number three, can you help me to move? Eh, después de help, ustedes pueden poner to move o pueden omitir el to, ¿ok? Puede ser, can you help me to move o no, no necesariamente ponen to. Can you help me move the, uh, to my new house? What will sure. be the answer? Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. I'll, I'll be glad to. I'll be glad to. All right. Number four, would you mind not sitting here? Mira, ¿te importaría no sentarte aquí? Would you mind not sitting here? Mira si es negativo. Ponemos el not primero después del verbo principal, ¿verdad? No. Uh, Sorry, no. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. It was taken. It was taken. Okay, sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. All right, number five. Would, uh, could you move your car from my space? 
I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll do it right away. I'll do it right away. Number six, I'll would you mind I'll... not talking so loudly? Would you mind not? <laughs> would you mind? We're well, sorry. Well, well, sorry. We'll talk. We'll talk more quickly. I'm more quietly. 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 Ok, guys. Ese ya veo, ya veo que todos se lo podían. Así que no hay mucho que, que, que aprender ahí. All right. So, help me read. Um, somebody wants to read this instruction. In this class, you will be able. You will yeah. develop, develop. You will develop, yeah, you move. Skill in uh, guessing, meaning from connect and context. reading. From context. Context and reading for a specific information. Ok, guys, fíjense que ya, permítame, la voy, a, la, voy a la voy a detener ahí. For a specific, mm, no, porque es, no lleva una E, solo decimos for specific information. Han, Se han fijado que mucha gente dice an specific topic, ¿sí? Y es un, algo incorrecto, guys, porque específico no lleva E en, al inicio, ¿ok? Ni special, así que no le pronunciamos e. esa E. Uh -huh. I didn't okay. pronounce the letter E. All right. Okay. Specific. La escuché la E, Brandy. Okay. Por eso okay. se la corregí. Okay. Eh, tenemos cuidado cuando estemos leyendo porque siempre en nuestra mente le ponemos la E y yo la escuché, ¿verdad? Y si no, busquen la clase a la 20.56 o a la cinco, el 55, al minuto 55 y usted va a ver cómo lo pronuncio. Okay. Eh, develop skills, no es skills tampoco, ahí no lo dijo así, pero specific, sí, guys, porque es muy común, no lo digo por Brandy, pero hay gente que dice an specific y es incorrecto porque no lleva la E. ¿Se acuerdan cuando se ocupa an y cuando se ocupa a, verdad? Entonces yo no digo an specific, digo a specific. Y aquí, como dice Brandy, no se dice for specific, sino for specific information. Okay, can you, uh, let's see guys. So we will have a quick reading. Quiero ver, let me see. Have you read this article already? Ya lo leyeron, guys? Yeah. Yes, yes, I did. Yes. All right, excellent. So what is the answer? So tomorrow we will have, if we have the time, we will do the, the reading activity. Mañana vamos a leer. Ok, vamos a escuchar esa lectura perfecta que tenemos algunos, ¿verdad? Y no, por favor, como le dije a Brandy, espero que todos hayan tomado la, la, eh, la nota de eso. Yo sé que Brandy ya sabe que no se dice specific, pero lo digo también porque en general es muy común que, la, que los demás, o que muchos de los compañeros que o alumnos que he tenido lo pronuncian así. Así que mañana vamos a escuchar esa, esa lectura. La gran Maya Angelou dijo una vez, he aprendido que la gente olvidará lo que dijiste. La gente olvidará. Ok. okay. Are you talking to us, Ana María? No, sorry. <risa> ok, guys. De verdad de que pónganle el mute, guys. Ok, ni estamos en la clase aparentemente y estamos en otra cosa. Entonces, hay que respetar a los que sí están poniendo atención porque nos distraemos. Ok, se los pido por favor. Ok, what is the answer number bueno. one, guys? What is a resentment? Danger that grows over time. Danger that grows. Ok, si quiere me puede levantar la mano porque no sé quién está hablando, guys. Somos un montón ahorita en el grupo y me cuesta identificar quién está queriendo participar. Recuerden que les pedí raise your hand, ¿verdad? Y también que me pongan la cámara porque así no, no veo quién está hablando. Ok, o si están hablando con nosotros. Resentment is... Gladys? Danger that grows over time. Thank you, Ana Maria. Thank you, Maria del Carmen. All right. That means to um to get angry, all right? Uh, or the anger that grows every time. Deliberately. Gladys. Deliberately. On purpose. Do something on purpose. Thank you. 
The other, number three, to irritate, what is the, what is that meaning? Bother or annoy. Bother or annoy. To bother or annoy and to measure. I step step step. Step. Something. I don't know. Can you help me with this word? Our child, how do you pronounce? Sorry. Uh, how do you pronounce? Measure. Measure. No, 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 no. I say, uh, I, I can't pronounce it. The. Answer number, yeah, this one. Uh, well, the number four. Mm -hmm. The number four, measure. Make sure. The number five. I step take. Order to achieve. Something. Taking in order to achieve. Achieve. Take. Achieve something. To achieve. To manner is a. Achieve. Achieve, that's the problem. A way of behaving. A way of behaving. A way of behaving. A way of behaving. A way, and a way to of resolve behaving. means? And a problem or no, no, difficulty. A difficulty. Okay, difficulty. very good, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. We have the 34 points right now so i will start the other meeting right now see you tomorrow bye bye take care bye bye, bye. 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 bye.